It's time for another episode of Speedrunning SE2. In the last two episodes, we have made so much MMR. We are currently almost 6,000 MMR doing speedrunning builds with random. That's absolutely insane. I checked Grandmaster. We are the MMR equivalent of rank 36 Grandmaster. Rank 36 in Europe. That is insane. Can we get 6k? Let's find out. All right, first game of the day is against Kara and almost 5'9 Terran. This has to be uh, the name of someone else. I feel like I would know every Terran uh, at this MMR, but I'm not quite sure who it is. Now we got Protoss. The last time we actually did a very weird expand into a Lin build. Now I wonder what kind of build I could go for here. I definitely want to do something weird. I'm not quite sure how I want to proxy. But without a proxy, how can you really kill a Terran that fast? Actually, I'm going to make my uh, stuff here. There we go. I'll just do a very early scout. Try to be annoying. I used to have a really cool build, actually, with proxy robo. You can even go proxy double robo and go mass immortals. That is probably what I want to do. Mm, not quite sure if... You know, I don't know the timings well enough. Like, it's been a while, to be honest, since I did those Protoss cheeses. So I'm not quite sure I know the timing well enough. I'm actually going to be a little bit sneaky here. Or no, I'm going to be very sneaky here. I'm going to do a Protoss trick that if you want to do a Protoss cheese, you should probably always do. At least if you play in, in the higher leagues. Um, you never want to not probe scout in that way because then they'll be suspicious, right? So you want to send a second probe to go for a cheese. And here we go. Now I'm just going to harass him really fast. This map is actually pretty big, which is annoying. As you can see, his barracks is already about halfway. I guess we'll just dance around his base for a little bit. Let's see. Now, I don't think I have to fully saturate the gas instantly. Like, this seems okay to me. He's sending more and more SCVs. Going to get a cyber core as fast as possible. Let me just attack this one. Okay. Mm. I mean, it's very unlikely that you actually get to kill an SCV, but uh, if you do, it's like instantly, you know, mentally game over. So that's really important here. Uh, I have four in gas, which seems about right. I'm not sure if we have been SCV scouted or not. One thing I would really like to know is what actually the timing is of the Reaper or no, of the Marine rather. So I can actually escape in time if I have to. Okay, so it is a Marine first. He is expanding on the high ground. He scouted in time. Um, to actually see I had no nexus here so it's going to be expanding on the high ground and I'm going to be I could go for a double robo I think it's wiser if I just go for a single robo though maybe I could do it with uh four four gateways three gateways I'm not quite sure what's better because here since he has the main I think it might be better to go for a war prism build instead rather than an immortal that's kind of the plan right now let's make a pylon down here I know he doesn't have a reaper so I don't actually have too much to be afraid about for now that is actually pretty comfortable. Let's see. React. He's making a bunker already. Factory's going down. He's letting me scout everything, which is nice. Uh, I'm not quite sure where the Marine went, to be honest. It's not like the Marine can really do anything otherwise. Now, let me see if there's an SCV in my main base. Oh, the Marine is all the way out there. Ah, he's scouting for the proxy. I just didn't see him leave, I guess. Okay, yeah, that, that does make a decent amount of sense. Um, not quite sure how I missed it. Where did, where did I even send my probe? I actually don't even remember. Okay, um, well, I can actually go for an Immortal first, I believe. 3 gate plus Immortal sounds better. I was going to make a Prism. Uh, it's also a little bit cheaper, but I think Immortal first is probably the right choice here. And uh, then I can make a fourth gate after that. Actually, my, my Warp Gate is faster than I thought. Chrono Boost. Chrono Boost is not bad, guys. Chrono Boost is definitely not bad. Let me see if he's chilling up here. Probably not. You never run, run your Adept into, you know... Uh, Marine standing on the high ground basically okay no I didn't see a tech lab there but I think I just wasn't in range I feel like that tech lab really should have been building now is it gonna be a cyclone or I, I think if he's not gonna make a tech lab on that he's pretty much just gonna die so it's 330 in game uh, I did I, I did adapt the rules a little bit according to your guys commentary by the way so I'm not gonna 100% give up the game as soon as it's six minutes I will just try my last attack that seems like the best choice here Hmm, what should I make, though? Now we know that we have been spotted, which is a little bit annoying. Hmm. I guess he will probably... I'm not sure if he saw the robo, actually. I know he saw the gateway. I don't really... I didn't really see him check for the robo there, so I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. But I think it's kind of obvious at the same time, right? So maybe I just shouldn't underestimate him and just uh, assume that he saw it. Okay, so here he is. He has a Viking as well. That's pretty scary. Okay. Actually get into the back of his main, which is really nice. Yeah, so he has a siege tank. That's what we expected. Uh, and I think I might actually be making some zealots here. Because zealots are going to tank the tank very well for me, which is nice. 
It's like, sentries are cool, but... I'm not quite sure if they do the job here. Okay, I think we're just gonna go for it. There we go. Oh, that's a really nice force field. I do need to save this prism no matter what, I think. There we go. Can actually target the siege tank with that. I hope. There we go. That is one tank down. Might have to escape with most of these. There we go. Well, actually, all of these. Don't think I did enough damage, though, sadly. Hmm. Can I still make anything happen here? Wait, is that... Oh, no. That's barely not in range of my prism. Look at that slow warp. In. That's so tragic. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for one more immortal. Yeah, I got one siege tank, but... I don't think it was quite enough. I'll have to go back and refine my builder a little bit. Because... Yeah, I think I really should go for the double robo proxy if I go for this. Or I just need it to be faster. Like, this was just all a little bit too slow. So that second immortal is pretty much going to signal uh, my last chance at making this happen. What sucks for me here is that if he stays in his main base, I'm still going to be forced to attack, right? That is the, the biggest weakness of speedrunning. Like, in some situations here, you could consider expanding. Not in this specific situation here. I think I actually have to finish the game. But, um... Yeah, I feel like it's definitely gonna be forced here. Now, wh what way do I go for is the question. Oh, we send out two Vikings. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go for a bulldozer attack. Gonna go straight in the front here. Probably do a slow warp in so I can go as fast as possible. He does have a billion tanks though, which is the biggest problem here. Let's see what he has. He probably has the tanks straight up there waiting. Well, actually, he doesn't have that much, like, good stuff, I have to say. He only made Viking... He's kind of playing like me. Is this the Penguin Brothers, guys? Wait, I'm actually... How am I kind of breaking this? That's actually kind of shocking. Okay, let's get... Wait, the, the wall is open. I'm going to be able to get my immortal... Wait. Is he actually dying to this? I mean, it's very close here, guys. But I don't think we have... Well, he's actually kind of dying. I cannot believe this. He's dying to a bunch of slow zealots attacking his base. And have we actually won this with our final attack? I cannot believe it. I mean, this is... The trickiest situation yet of the series to call, because if we're being honest here, I think he is most likely dead. But I can't... Well, he does have a Banshee. Huh. I really think we need some experts for this, guys. I... Do we have any experts in the comments? Because I'm not sure if I've won this game or if this game is lost at this point. Um, I also have a million gas, by the way. No idea what I'm supposed to do with that. Let's see. I guess I'll just warp in a bunch of Stalkers. Get on top of the tank. Uh, and yeah, now this is actually confusing because I think he has like five SCVs. We're gonna check the replay and we're gonna determine... Uh, I mean, unless I unless I lose with this attack, of course. And we're gonna determine whether this game was a win or a defeat. He does have a lot of units here, actually, surprisingly. Let me just make sure to kill that. That is gonna die. There we go. And I'll pick up these units, send them back here. Go for a warp in. Oh, I don't need to micro these a little bit. Maybe got like a nice four field going here. Oh, it's actually pretty good micro. I didn't think I was going to micro that perfectly, but... He's probably going to try to target the low HP Stalker, if I had to guess. And there we go. We have done it. Um, this was... I have no idea how... We, first of all, by the way. I have no idea how we won this game, period. This is an absolutely absurd win. He was on one base. My first attack failed. It really felt like he was playing freaking Penguin Brothers or something, you know? Because when I attacked here, I really didn't see any units. He, his army was basically... Tank Viking. He was making two extra barracks. He was preparing for the macro game. The macro game was not happening here, guys. I can tell you guys that much. So let's fast forward a little bit. This warping is really clutch here. And then after this attack, what are the situation of the game? I think if you look at the supply, we can conclude that I was legit for, you know, staying in this game because we did beat him with it. But it's a little bit questionable because I'm mixing up the rules, you know. The rule was at six minutes, I have to do my last attack. And we kind of killed him with it. And I did promise you guys I wouldn't leave if the game was won. So I think for now it's legit. I'm eagerly, you know, anticipating your experts' comments. Did I win legitimately or not? I'll wait for it. And for now, let's go for game number two. All right, we got a Barco Terran player. Now let's see what matchup is it going to be. Oh, it's another Protoss game. All oh, right. Now, one thing that I want to get back to is I 100% want to be doing cannon rushes again. I'm really excited to learn my cannon rushes. And uh, yeah, right now, I think against Terran on this map, doesn't look very doable for me. So I'm going to skip it for now. But I would definitely love to do some dirty cannon rushes later on. Now, 
I've been saying this a lot, guys, but I'm gonna tell you guys again. I promised myself to tell you guys in every different series. I told you in Proxy Hatch. Now I'm gonna tell you guys in the speedrunning episode. But for the next month, I will be streaming again. So if you guys are interested, hop on over. The link is in the description. Uh, and I'll be streaming. The schedule for now is Tuesday, Thursday, Sundays, 3 to 6 p.m. CET. And this month, I'm pretty much just gonna be checking if there is enough interest for me to really maintain a streaming schedule and stuff. So make sure if you are interested in some extra thermic content to hop over and check it out. Now, I think in one month or more likely two months i might change the schedules i might be moving back to mexico and stuff uh but yeah we'll see if you guys are interested i'll see you guys there and that'll be awesome and i'm gonna tell you guys this one more time because i'm also gonna say it in the planetary fortress Rush episode that's the one to go and then i will leave you guys alone with it for now now i think i would love to do let's see what he's gonna do right i would love to do a similar cheese to the one I did the last PVT on this map. Because I really just like that cheese. It was like a very weird... I'm expanding, but I'm still being cheesy kind of thing. Okay, so we're not playing as the double gas. Obviously, I was random. So, uh, he's going to go for a Reaper expand most likely. And then I'll just be hiding this one. Um, he might make a bunker behind there. So, I definitely want to check for that. But in the end, I'm going to be cheesing here. So, I'm not even sure if he makes a bunker if it's bad for me. Because if you think about it... Uh, you know, he's gonna be denied. Yeah, there he is with SU. They're always sneaky with it. If you think about it, I'm gonna be trying to cheese him. So if he denies my natural, I might not even be making that many probes there. Um, so I don't know. Is it even gonna be bad for me in that case? I guess we'll find out. Now, how many more do I need? I need to put all my Chrono Boost on the Warp Gate. But the Reapers just arrive so fast on this map that I, I'm a little bit afraid of it. I think I might actually have to Chrono Boost my Adept as well. But that is very problematic because I want to do a super fast cheese here, right? Uh, oh, I do need to make that pylon, of course. And how long does Warp Kit actually take? 100 seconds. With Chrono Boost, Chrono Boost is 1.5 times as fast, right? Yeah, okay. So if I get to do double Chrono Boost, I guess it's... I'm not, I'm not quite sure on the math right now, but it's going to finish a little bit faster. So it's okay if I make my gateways after, basically. Let's see if I can save this one. Oh, actually, I did save it. It's... Better than I expected. And now he's going to run away. And I didn't have to chrono my adept. Which is really nice. Now I'm basically faking. Uh, making a worker there as you can see. I need to get some workers down to the natural as well. And now we're just going to do the foregate again. Guys this could actually be the most legendary build. That I accidentally brought back. Because <laughs> this is so silly. But who knows. Maybe it's actually pretty good. Okay I was microing there so he couldn't. Ah he was trying to jump up. I see what he was trying to do. Wait could I do five gates? I think I might even be able to do five gates. I, I know it sounds absurd, but 26 workers, five gateways. Maybe. Let's get another gate. I mean, I should have built it a little bit faster, right? The five gate cheese. Oh, he's actually uh, finding me right now. Let's see if I can deny it. There we go. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. It is also very... He should be 100% suspicious right now. He saw no probes were building. They were very little probes to begin with. The gateways are a little bit late, which is unfortunate. Uh, should I make a battery? I think it's probably okay. And then we're going to warp stalkers. I should have had a second gas, actually. Because uh, now I have to mostly go for adepts, I think. But I guess we'll just see. Also, keep in mind, I have no idea what MMR this Terran is, right? This Terran could be a freaking pro. He could even be a Korean pro because there are some pro uh, Koreans in Europe right now for the Home Story Cup as I'm filming this. Uh, so I have no idea what the MMR of him is going to be. Now, let's do a shade first. I don't want to reveal my entire plan yet. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that is a lot of marines, actually. And he has no bunker, which is absolutely massive for us, guys. I don't think you can really defend this properly without bunker. He is going to get stim soon uh, because he has that many marines. I think it should be a three racks at least. Now, here we go. Okay, I, I, I have a guardian shield here. This is going to be a really nice fight for us. We have two more zealots coming in, which are going to tank all of the freaking uh, SCVs there. Here we go. I don't need to keep microing this properly. Yeah, now it's a good time to run and get some more zealots in. Um, I did kill a lot of SCVs, but it's not over yet, of course, because he's... Yeah, like I said, he's gonna get stim soon, which is really good against stuff like this, at least once it finishes. But if I get enough sentries, it's gonna be all right, I think. It looks like he's waiting up here. Let's see. Uh, I, I thought I had another force field, actually. That's a little bit of a mistake by me. I thought I was gonna have another force field there to destroy him, but apparently not. I think my pilot's about to finish, right? Yeah, it is okay. There we go. For a second, I was worried. I was like, oh no. Did I supply block myself in the most important time? I do have to make some workers at the home in case he, like, scans. I need him to feel desperate, you know? I need him to, like, feel he has to attack me or kill me or something like that. Now I got some stalkers here. Oh, he's over here right now. Let's see. I think... Oh, he does have combat shield, but not still. Oh, he does have stim. Ah, oh, crap. 
I think he might have gotten us here, guys, with the, yeah, the three racks. Oof, that sucks. I think I should have killed him earlier. Um, my biggest mistake here, actually, in this entire game... Uh, it seems a little bit hard sometimes to detect what it is. But I think it was that I forgot my gas. Because if I have enough stalkers, marines are just uh, free targets, basically. Like, you will just kill them for free. So I think the fact that I forgot my second gas is really what, uh, you know, is my downfall here. So I know he's attacking me, but I'm just going to go for it 100%. Obviously, it's six minutes. Looks like we're going to end up in a base trade, which might be uh, very interesting. Let me chrono the gateways as well, because I might have to warp at home. There we go. He is attacking me. We're going to go for a little bit of a turbo battery here. Obviously, he's going to be targeting it. But maybe we can actually warp in some units. Ah, no, really, he was actually paying attention. I thought he might not be looking there. All right, so now we're 100% committed to this attack. Uh, I think he probably... Oh, he, he's not... Oh my god, he's just standing there. He's going to lose his units. That is a massive mistake. We're both making massive mistakes each. And I'm not quite sure yet, guys. I think we might actually still be winning this somehow. It's going to be a close one. He does have a lot of units available. That is the biggest problem. Going to send the rest of my units up here. Could have popped that Guardian Shield a little bit faster. And it does look like we have been defeated. Uh, well, I have a few more units. I guess the attack is still going on. He's struggling a little bit with the multitasking, but so am I. And I guess this is the final warping I have. <laughs> I have six rope left. And I don't think I can kill him anymore. So, well done to him. Oh, he did stim a little bit early there. Watch this. Oh, if I got vision a little bit early, I could have gotten a sick force field there. Looks like I barely missed it. Yeah, he's struggling a little bit with the micro, but he has held us well enough. And that's going to be GG, our final attack. And this, I think my strategy still looks strong. I think I, you know, I forgot the second gas. I couldn't warp in stalkers. I should have, should have warped it in safety back at home. I would have kept more probes alive. And then it actually, I don't, I'm not saying I would have won for sure if I kept the probes alive. But it would have been a very interesting situation because normally... Um, Protoss has some kind of tech behind it, but I don't. Now, for me, I was going to try and end the game, but in a normal... Let's pretend it's a normal game going on. I think it would be very interesting. I would have been ahead in Eco, but he would have had the Stim, the Combat Shields, the three racks, plus one even, actually. Very interesting. This plot one makes me think he's probably not the highest MMR player, because that's not usually how he executed three racks, so I would definitely say not a pro, probably below 6k, but it would have been a super interesting game, but for now, it's a loss. Let's move on to game number three. Right. Oh, we got Baby Marine, a very famous Terran. If you guys don't know, this is actually the little brother of Raynor, one of the... Not last world champion. Actually, he was in the in the finals. Oh, we got a TVT as well. He was in the finals of the world championship three times in a row. This is a little brother, very talented as well. And I think I'm going to go for definitely some kind of proxy. Um, I could actually go for a classic proxy reaper, because why not? Let's go for a classic proxy reaper here. Um... Let me just tell him my race. I feel like if I proxy early, I always want to make sure uh, to tell my race. Because I don't want them to scout early. Actually, in this case... It, you know, it's really funny. I'm going to have to automize all of this. Because now I need to think about it. If I'm Terran against Terran specifically... I probably want to not tell my race. Because TVT is the matchup where you scout the earliest as Terran. So now... He should be... If he's going to scout me, he should be scouting me at 16 or 17, which is earlier than the other two matchups. So it's TVT specifically. I probably want to not say it. I mean, this is going to take me a long time to learn automatically, but, uh, you know, at least I, I realize my mistake, which is important. Now I'm going to go for a normal proxy reaper. Actually, I do. I think I have to go for a three ranks proxy reaper. Else, a follow-up to proxy reaper is usually to macro, but obviously I want to kill my opponent very fast, right? So I think I might have to... Go for a 3-Rex Reaper here without Orbital even, which is pretty insane, but we're going to do it. Now, I, I just want to tell you guys, the last game we did lose a lot of MMR, but after the first game, we actually did reach 6k. So we set that record for the show. Someday I want to get higher and higher. At some point I want to be 6-1. We're going to get better and better at cheesing. Um, but for now, our record is 6k, which is really nice that we've achieved it. So, you know, we did lose, I think we lost 130 MMR. Um, in that second game there, but <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. There's a little bit of, uh, how do you call it again? Provisional MMR that I still have playing random on this account. So, uh, that's why I lost so much. But yeah, that definitely put us down from 6k to 5k, which is pretty painful. Now, I'm not sure if I needed the gas this early. I think I, I might have made the gas this early. Normally, maybe you even get an orbital with this. Like, he knows that I'm super all in. That's the, that's the thing here. I'm actually going to go for a bunker. The bunker is going to bait him and pull out his SUVs. And I might be able to get back in with my... Oh, I got... Oh, I was just going to say two shots. Really well microed by him, actually. Now he sees I have three barracks. And now I want to get... I... No, where, where are you going? Where's that Reaper going? What the hell was that? 
walked all the way around there. That's unfortunate. Wait, he didn't stay with his SUVs, right? No, he didn't. Oh, that's a bit of a mistake by him. He doesn't have a bunker, but he is playing double gas. So he's going to try and hold it with uh, Hellions and stuff, which is usually the right thing to do. Now, at this point, I have three Reapers and he's only going to have two Hellions or uh, two Reapers rather. So I need to use that advantage here. Let's see. It's a, it's a really hard micro battle always. There we go. And now I'm on top of his Reapers. I'm going to kill two for one, which is fantastic. All I have to do is just target that one. There we go. And now I'm going to get on top of his SEVs. Now this build is very, very all in. I have to finish the game here. But I think I have a good shot. He's going to get another Reaper soon. We have to keep that in mind. Keep throwing grenades to block the SEVs. But now I have five Reapers. It's looking really good. I need a depot at home. There we go. These two Reapers are pretty low. I could consider just healing these up for now. I think it's probably a better idea if I heal these up for a little bit. Okay, there we go. He got one shot on one Reaper, I believe. But the heal on the Reapers here is going to be more important. Get these in. And now I can probably go with six Reapers. This is looking really good. He's trying to stay in the... Oh, the middle line is actually a really good place for Reapers because of the grenades, by the way. As long as you micro well and don't <laughs> walk into your own grenades, that is, of course. Oh, we're going to get one Hellion, maybe. There we go. One Hellion down. And now he's going in, but he doesn't have enough units here. Going to throw one more grenade for the Marines. There we go. Surround them a little bit. And that is going to be the dub here. So we got two dubs today. One loss, but that is all right. I think this cheese looked absolutely killer in this game, by the way. Like, I lost almost nothing. 275 against 1700. That is an absolute incredible trader resources obviously seven reapers left i could have made a factory at home but i also knew the factory would not contribute actually the next time i do this strategy i will make a factory because even if i can't transition i can make hellions and walk them all the query across the map or drive them of course but anyway it's a really fun episode hope you guys enjoyed it as well make sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all for the next one adios